Hello guys, in this video you will see how to create this dashboard in Google Looker Studio. So let's get started. First I'm gonna be creating this header and after that next step would be to create those KPIs and filters. After we create all of these, then we can proceed to main part of this dashboard. First, I have created new report page. Basically, it's a blank page and we are gonna create our dashboard here. First, let's check this theme and layout option. If I click on that, I can see theme that I'm using for this dashboard. I'm gonna click on this customize button to check color that I'm using for this report. So, if I click on this, you will see that I'm using this color here. After we choose our color, we can continue with this report. So first I'm gonna create my header. For that I'm gonna need to insert shape. I'm gonna click on this first one and I'm gonna place it here. Let's resize it. I think this should be fine. After that I'm gonna change color. Let's try this one. And now I'm able to insert my text. I'm gonna click on this text option and I'm gonna place it here. So let's change this font size. Let's put it to be for example 48. And color will be this one here. So let's start typing. Let's resize this. And also I'm gonna make this bold, so I'm gonna click on this, this one here, and this should be fine. Before we continue, let's first change this color, I'm gonna put just, let's try this one, and this should be fine. Now let's start creating our KPIs. First I'm gonna also insert another shape. I'm gonna place it here. This shape will contain my KPIs. Also I'm gonna change color, I'm gonna put white and then I'm gonna change this option here. Instead of 100% I'm gonna put 10%. Ok, let's resize this a bit and now let's copy this shape, paste it here. This top part of our report will contain filters and below that we will have our charts. So let's copy this one more time and I'm gonna place it here. Let's resize it. For example, we can put something like this. Also, let's copy one more time. Let's place it here. Actually, I think this should be bigger. Let me just resize it one more time. And this should be fine. So, let's copy this. Let's place it here. And also, let's copy this one and place it here. Also, I'm gonna need two more shapes for those two filters. Let's insert another shape. I'm gonna place it here at the end. And I'm gonna need to insert one, one more. So this should be fine. Then let me resize those two. Ok, that should be it regarding those shapes. Now we need to create headers for those shapes. So let me copy for example this first one and let me just resize it like this. It will be something like this and I'm gonna put instead of 10% here I'm gonna put 20%. So we have this nice header on top of our section. Let's copy this one. Let's paste it here. Let's paste it one more time. I'm gonna now adjust it to fit 
this shape here also I'm gonna copy one more time now we have headers for our sections so let's start inserting charts first I'm gonna insert my KPIs so let's click on this option image upload from computer and I'm gonna change for example uh, let me change this first one I'm gonna place it here on top for example and after that I'm gonna need to insert my KPI so let's click on this add a chart option let's click on scorecard and let's place it next to this picture that we already imported now we are gonna need to change this this first one should be total number of customers so let's see how many customers we have we can do that by using this customer ID and we are gonna place it here in this metric box if we do that we will see that we are using this count distinct option as you can see here so basically we are counting distinct customer IDs that is okay for us we will keep this option also I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call it number of customers press enter and that should be it now I'm gonna go to this style option and I'm gonna click on those three options just to place it in the center so we have our first KPI created now I'm gonna just copy all those KPIs that I already created in order not to waste time so let's go to this first page let's copy all of these and let's paste them here I'm gonna also need to rearrange them okay perfect after we create our KPIs in next step is to add those filters to add a filter we have this add a control option if you click on that we have some options in this case I'm gonna be using this drop down list I'm gonna place it here and also I'm gonna resize it let me just place it like this and instead of this order ID I'm gonna put in this case a region so we will be able to filter all those values by region let's resize this one more time and also I'm gonna insert those nice icons here so let's click on image upload and I'm gonna choose my picture I'm gonna need to resize it and this is perfect I'm gonna also copy those two filters from report that I already created let me paste them here so now let's insert two more filters click on this button drop down list place it here also let's let me resize them instead of this order ID I'm gonna also put product name so we're gonna be able to filter by product let me do this one more time and now we are able to filter by each product here next filter will be segment filter so let's add one more let's place it here I'm gonna also need to resize that filter and let's find segment option and let's put it here so now we are able to filter by segment let's remove this one also for, for this one we don't need those metrics 
Ok, that's perfect. Now we can continue to that main part of our dashboard, so we will start creating charts. First, let's insert two donor charts. Let's click on this add a chart option and in this pie section I will be able to find donor chart. Let's place it here and then I'm gonna need to resize this chart. After I do that, I'm gonna insert values that I will need to present. So, in my case it will be number of customers for each region. So, in this dimension section we will keep this region column and in this one we will need to change this segment. Instead of that we will put number of customers, it will be done by using this customer ID and we are gonna use this count distinct option. Now we are able to see number of customers for each of these regions. Also we need to change those colors, so let's go to this style option and then click on this single color option. Instead of this blue color I'm gonna choose for example this one. Let me see, ok that's perfect. Now let's copy this chart and now I'm gonna put it here below. Let's change our values. Instead of this region, I'm gonna put, for example, let's use ship mode. So let's insert that and let's resize this a bit. Okay, that's perfect. And now we created those two donor charts. Now we will add titles for those charts. So, I'm gonna click on this text option here and I'm gonna place it here. Let me resize this and let's make it bold. Now let's start typing. This one first will be number of customers by each of these regions. Number of customers by region and I'm gonna place it in the center. And let's make it for example 16, that looks better. Let's copy that one and let's paste it here. And I'm gonna also use that for this chart here. Instead of region I'm gonna put ship mode. Let's put just mode. We have two more charts to complete this dashboard and next one will be number of customers for each city. So, we are gonna use bar chart for that purpose. Let's click on this other chart option and I'm gonna use bar chart. Let's resize this chart. And here in this dimension section, instead of region I'm gonna put city. So let's place it here and now we are able to see each of these cities but the metric value is sales so we are gonna need to change that and we are gonna put customer ID instead of sales. So we will be able to see number of customers for each of these cities. So now I need to modify this chart. So let's go to style and instead of this blue color, let's use for example this gray one. Ok, this looks nice and I'm gonna also need to remove those grid lines. In this grid section, we will be able to see this grid color and we will put transparent for that one. And we don't see those grid lines anymore. And also, one more thing I would like to do is instead of 10 bars, I would like to see only 8 of them. And now this chart is almost completed, we have one more thing to add here, it will be just number of customers. So we will click on this show data labels option to see those number of customers. Ok that's perfect, so we have successfully completed that chart. We have one more chart to create. So let's go to this add a chart option and let's insert this stacked bar chart and let's place it here. I'm gonna also need to resize this.
And now we need to provide three values in this chart. First one is dimension. It will be this axis here. Instead of region, I'm gonna put subcategory. Let's put subcategory here. And now we are able to see our subcategories. Now, instead of this product name, I'm gonna put ship mode. Now we are able to see number of customers for each of these subcategories separated regarding that ship mode. Now that we have our values, we can proceed to modifying this chart. We can go to this tile option and instead of 10 bars, I'm gonna also put 8 just to see first 8 bars. For this one also I'm gonna be changing colors and I'm gonna use this single color and I'm gonna put this one here. Or maybe I can put even this one. Let me see, this should be better, so I'm gonna keep this option. Next thing I need to do is to remove those grid lines, so I'm gonna go to this grid section, click on grid color and then click on this option. And now this should be fine, but also we need to create titles for those two charts, so let's copy this one, let's paste it here, and then I'm gonna also put it here. Perfect. I'm gonna copy this one. And I'm gonna move it here. Okay, perfect. Now we need to change those titles. This one will be number of customers by city. And this one will be number of customers by subcategory. Ok, that's perfect. Now that we created those two charts, we have successfully completed our dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.